Okay guys, so this is going to be the second video for today. Now I know a few of you get triggered if I upload two videos daily because you think I might get like, I might run out of ideas or something, but hey, look, trust me, it's okay. This is just a really short video and I don't really count it as a full video, it's just a tutorial. Um, I have been asked about this before, so again, if you guys ask me about something, I will deliver. So today we are going to be replacing or adding a hard drive to the Razer Blade 15 base model because uh, a lot of people have been telling me that there's videos about this on the advanced model replacing the SSD, but there's very little videos about the base model. So that's the one we are going to be doing today. Just a very quick disclaimer, um, because I'm recording this after I already did this, I will let you know that uh, Razer expects you to have your own screws for some reason, so... That's a little bit weird. It doesn't come with screws to screw the brackets onto the hard drive. It's really stupid. So guys, again, the, I'm gonna do this one very short. So if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the like button. It only takes you a few seconds and it helps me out a bunch. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to grab your screwdrivers and open up your laptop. Just unscrew all the screws at the bottom. Uh, it is a star-shaped screwdriver. A lot of you are going to criticize the living hell out of me because I said star shape and I don't know the exact T number or whatever. So sorry about that, I, I guess I'm not a true gamer. Once all the screws are off, you want to gently pull at the back of the panel to pull it off. There is a kind of gel pad stuck to the bottom that is, that is adhering to the M.2 SSD to take the heat off of it. So you wanna be careful with that. You don't wanna pull very fast because you don't wanna damage anything. So once that's off, uh, now I'm going to put a little arrow indicating where the M.2 SSD is because this is what you would replace if you wanted to replace your kind of main boot SSD. This is the SSD. This is not the thing we're going uh, to be playing with today. This is kind of the one that comes with the laptop. So we're gonna focus on this one here. This is the hard drive bay that comes in the base model. And as you can see, the battery is smaller, it's shorter to facilitate that hard drive bay. So there's two metal brackets actually screwed down there when it uh, when it comes. So you do get screws on the metal brackets to actually hold them in place, but you will need your own screws to hold the hard drive onto the brackets. I'm very confused. So for this, I'm going to be using a two terabyte hard drive, not an SSD, just a standard hard drive. This is needed for my Hackintosh project that I uploaded for you guys today. So that's the one we are going to be putting in there. So now I'm just gonna go grab some screws, some spare screws that I found in my wardrobe. Uh, yes, I have screws in my wardrobe. I am not a normal person. And we are going to screw down, we are going to screw down that hard drive using those screws. So I actually only have two of these screws. Um, so I'm only going to be using one of the brackets. Hopefully that's okay. Hopefully I don't get criticized too much, but normally you'd have four screws and all four would go into the hard drive for maximum security, you know. But uh, hey, you have to live life on the edge. Am I right or am I right? So now that the hard drive is screwed into its bracket, I'm going to connect it to the connector that comes with the razor blade. This connector is actually stuck down using tape to hold it in place until you're ready to use it. So we're going to connect to that and then we can finally place the hard drive into its bay. Now from here on, it's very simple. You just screw down the bracket into its little spot in the laptop and you can finally close it off, closing all the screws. And now we can just power the thing on and uh, make sure it works. So as you can see here, the hard drive shows up in disk utility. So everything works, we were successful. That's it guys, very short video, very short tutorial. I hope you liked it, I hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like. If you're having any problems, make sure to comment down in the description below, I'll make sure to help you. If you wanna be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.